welcome to Match Move for Production by VFX Tutors. I'm Josh and in this video we'll be continuing with the shot MM006. In part 2 we'll be importing our camera into Maya and getting it ready to be used. Ok so we've loaded up Maya so our first thing we need to do is we need to import in our camera. So if we go file, import and if we go to where our we export exported out our camera so we've got cave bg1 v1 uhd v1 mail script so if we import that and it should give us a little scene group here in our outliner so if we change this to mm for match move and if we open up this box uh, open up this group we'll have our cave camera which is our sequence camera of all these keyframes and then we have our lens camera we do not need this lens camera anymore so we can delete that so now if we go to our panels, perspective, and click on our camera, we're now going to look through our camera that we've just tracked. So as you can see, we've still got the linear plate on it because it's probably reading it in, in the wrong color management. So what we'll do if we select our camera here, and if we click image plane here, we can change our alpha gain to 0 0.7, which will make it a little, little bit opaque. And in our image name, we need to change this to our undistorted plate. So if we go to where we rendered off our undistorted plate, it's going to be much lighter files, so we'll be able to use them. And if we click Use Image Sequence, we can go down to Depth and press 1. So now we can scrub through our timeline. So the next thing would be to bring in our Set Geo or our Scan. So if we go File, import if we go to our data package set geo bring in our obj you can see that it lines up over the top if we change wireframe or shaders we can see you can see the wireframe so yeah, that's pretty much it um, for setting it all up in Maya. Um, if you wanted to go further with this to put your personal project, you have all the other data in your data package. Um, hope you enjoyed this, uh, this shot and this uh, tutorial and um, I'll see you on the next shot. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, hit that like button and subscribe for more like this.